What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and this is going to be my top 10 tweaks for your iOS keyboard. Now this is actually a requested video, and if you guys would like to request a top 10 video, be sure to do so down in the comments, or I would recommend doing it on Twitter. I can reply on Twitter a lot faster than I can in the YouTube comments. So if you have an idea for a top 10 video, be sure to let me know and I just might make it. So with that being said, now these are not ranked in any kind of order, they're not best to worst, they're completely random. So let's start out with number 10, and number 10 is called Graffiti. And the way you enable this is download it from Cydia, and you must have two keyboards running for your iOS keyboard. I recommend just using your whatever language keyboard you use, and then Emoji. And the way you activate Graffiti is you hold the globe, and then you just slide up to Graffiti just like so. Now what you can do with this is you can basically draw whatever kind of picture you want, and you can send pictures as a text message. And I just think it's a very cool, you know, tweak to have. You can change the colors with these RGB sliders. You can change the size of the line. You can undo. You can redo. You can completely clear it. And then when you're done, you just click done. And then you can send it as a picture. Just a very cool tweak. Again, it's called Graffiti. And coming in at number 9 is one of my favorites. It's so simple, but it's awesome. It's called I Type Apple Icon. Now this tweak you will need to add a source to get. I will have the source down in the description so be sure to check that out. And it allows you to type the Apple logo icon as you can see right there. Hold the A and slide over to the Apple logo. Now keep in mind this will only be displayed on other iOS devices. So if you're texting your buddy that has a Samsung they will not be able to see that Apple logo. It's only centralized with iOS devices. But nonetheless, it's awesome. And again, it's called iType Apple Icon. Coming in at number eight is definitely a tweak I get a lot of use out of. It's called Swipe Selection. Now, I'll just demonstrate what you can do with this tweak here real quick. Now, let's say you've typed out part of the message and you just realized that you misspelled the first word there. Now, normally the way you'd go and fix it is you bring up that annoying magnifying glass and just select whatever it is it might be you need to fix. Now, with Swipe Selection, basically, you can just swipe on your keyboard and it will swipe the cursor over to where you need to fix. Just like so. Extremely useful. You can swipe it right back very quickly and continue your uh, message or whatever it is you might be typing. Again, that's called Swipe Selection. Coming in at number 7 is called KB Shortcuts. Now there's a lot of functionality with this tweak. Uh, if you're familiar with a computer, basically if you do Control or Command and hit a certain key, it will do a certain function like uh, select all, copy, paste, undo, so on and so forth. Now basically KB Shortcuts implements that into the iOS keyboard. Now this is something that you're not going to be able to just pick up and know how to use. You're going to really have to memorize the keys and get used to using it. So I'm just going to show you what kind of shortcuts you get. And the way you use them is you click the space bar and you slide to a key. So to bring up uh, basically the help menu you just click the space and slide to the question mark and then here are all the keys that you can use. So help, set, reset, disable keys, disable KB shortcuts, uh, insert email which you set up in the settings, select all, set bookmark, copy, define word, end of document, search, go to, beginning of document, line up, previous character, line down, next character, next word, previous word, Toggle overwrite, end of line, start of line, replace, select current previous word, translate, toggle case, paste, word count, cut, redo, undo, and then a bunch of uh, quick text uh, which you will set up in the settings. So I'm just going to give you a quick little demo here. Uh, I'm not going to show you all the keys, but I'll show you, you know, what you can do with it. Let's say I want to select all of those uh, or all of all of that text. I can select and do A, and it selects all. I can do copy like so, and let's say I want I can just delete it like that, and if I want to paste it, or if I want to um, cut it, it's a X, if I can do it here, just like so, and so on and so forth. It's just a very functional tweak. Now let's just jump over to the settings, and I'll show you just a quick overview of the settings. It's basically just customizing your quick text, so KB shortcuts, on off toggle, Translation language, you can set your keys, so if you don't like the way they have it set up, you can customize it to your liking. You have child lock, that's where you put your email in, and then all the quick texts right there, and that's when you slide to space to a number, and it'll put in your own custom text. And that is KB Shortcuts.
coming in at number six is called iKiwi. It's basically just a fifth row of keys that you can fully customize. And you can have it be symbols, numbers, even emoji characters. So if you have uh, emoji, you know, smiley faces or whatever character you might use all the time, you can put those and set those as a custom key. And you can even use words. It doesn't have to be just a single character. It could be a word or whatever you'd like. Again, it's called iKiwi. Coming in at number five is called Haptic Pro. Basically, it will allow you to have your keyboard give you a small vibration every time you click a key. So if you listen very closely, as you can see, I'm getting a vibration every time I click a key. Now, the vibration itself is actually customizable. So here's the settings for Haptic Pro. You can use it for more than just the keyboard as well. You can use it for uh, buttons, table cells, and web links. And then here's the duration of the vibration. Now I have it churned way up just so you guys could kind of hear it in this video, but I usually keep it about here. So it's just a little tiny vibration and it's just a very cool tweak. And again, that's called Haptic Pro. Coming in at number four is called Emoji Pro. Now if you're familiar with the Emoji keyboard, it allows you to have about 300 emoji characters, which is basically just a bunch of smiley faces and uh, animals and just a bunch of random stuff that you can text to your friends or use to type. Now, Emoji Pro allows you to have 300 new characters, so in total you'll have about 600 emoji characters, and these are split up by a little line, as you can see right there. So everything after that line, these are all new characters from Emoji Pro. As you can see with these dots here, there's a ton added to this. So where is the line? Right there, and as you can see, these are all new characters. Very cool tweak. Again, it's called Emoji Pro. Coming in at number three is a very simple tweak, and it's called Manual Correct. So if you have Auto Correct enabled for your keyboard, as you know, if you misspell a word, as soon as you click the space button, it will auto correct it, hence the word auto correct. Now, what Manual Correct enables is you can choose whether you want it to be corrected or not. Now, I'll show you a little quick uh, demo of it. So I'm going to misspell quit. Now normally with autocorrect, as soon as you click space, it will autocorrect it. With manual correct, you can click space again and it does not correct it. And the way you use the autocorrect, if you do want it to be autocorrected, is you just click the word like so and it's corrected. That's really all there is to it. It's very simple, guys. And again, it's called manual correct. Coming in at number two is called octopus keyboard. Now this is definitely one of my favorites and I love using this tweak. Basically, it's a smart keyboard, and it also it'll recommend words as you type them out, and the more and more you use it, the more it learns the common words you use. So if you look very closely, above certain keys, there are recommended words. So if I was trying to spell out my name, and as I type here, they will change the recommendation. So if I put J-E, and it's already recommended my name up at the R right now. So as you can see, there is Jeremy. So if I click it and swipe up on the R, just like so, it types out my entire name. And then they'll say, I just want to use the, it's already recommended. Click the key and swipe up. And then it inputs the. And that's really all there is to it. It's just a very functional, smart keyboard. And again, it's called Octopus Keyboard. And coming in at number one is a tweak that I'm sure most of you are familiar with. It's Color Keyboard. Basically, it allows you to theme your keyboard and there's a ton, a ton of themes. Uh, most winterboard themes, at least if they're a complete theme, they will come with their own color keyboard. And I just love it because I like changing up my keyboard. And if you guys are familiar with my videos, I'm sure you've seen this keyboard more than once. This is the Boxy Theme keyboard. The only way you can get the keyboard is if you install the Boxy Theme itself. Just an FYI. So let's just jump into the settings here real quick for color keyboard. Uh, just enabled and then you can select from all these different keyboard themes there's a ton of different themes and like I said when you install certain winterboard themes they will come with their own keyboard you can select your pop-up key so that is themed as well and then you can customize your keyboard background the border radius you can go to a theme gallery and then at the bottom it's just a bunch of support and special thanks for the actual tweak itself and again that's called color keyboard so those are my top 10 favorite tweaks for your keyboard. Now again, some of these tweaks will come into conflict with one another, such as iKiwi and Color Keyboard, also Octopus Keyboard and Swipe Selection, and KB Shortcuts and Swipe Selection. Those will come into conflict with one another, so you basically have to choose which tweaks better suits your needs. 
Now again, like I said, this was a requested top 10 video. If you would like to request one, be sure to comment below or request it on Twitter. That would better your chances, and I just might make the top 10 video. Also, all of the sources you will need will be listed in the description, so be sure to check there. And as always, if you guys found this video useful, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comment below. And if you want to see more top 10 videos like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This is Jeremy with Everything Idevice, and I will see you guys in the next one.